Hello stock stalkers, welcome back. Today's video will be very interesting. Many of you have been asking me which is the best broker for Dubai and Abu Dhabi stock market. What is the commission structure, how to select a broker and many more broker related questions. In this video, I will answer all your questions by going through a simple broker selection process. I will share 5 important factors that we have to consider before we sign up with a broker. Also today I will share the best broker for Dubai and Abu Dhabi stock market as per my research and analysis. Watch out the video till the end and do not miss out on any information. So with that, let's start this video but before that if you are new here then subscribe for free daily updates on Dubai and Abu Dhabi stock market. And after watching this video if you think it was helpful then please hit the like button so that this video can reach many other viewers. Also, if you are serious about stock market and would like to learn technical analysis and read charts like professionals, then you may visit my website www.stockstock.ae, click on the course link, check out the details if you are interested, then WhatsApp me, I will share my number in the description. First factor that we have to consider before we sign up with any broker is commission structure. Guys, it's very important to understand the cost that we will be paying to a broker for buying and selling the stocks. So first, let's understand the commission structure brokers provide in Dubai financial market. If you are trading or investing in Dubai financial market, any broker you choose, you will have to pay a fixed fee of 10 dirhams per trade. And then comes brokerage and market charges that totals up to 0.275% of your total value not on the total number of shares or the total amount. And then there is 5% VAT on this cost that is commission and market charges. Don't worry if this is complicated for you. Let me give you a good and easy example. Say you are planning to buy stocks of MR properties. Total amount is 5000. So your commission will be calculated like this. You will pay 0.275% of 5000 dirhams that will be 13.75 AED and then you will have to pay a fixed order fee that is 10 dirhams per trade and then 5% VAT on the commission that is 13.75 it will be 0.6875 AED. Mind you there are some brokers who are charging VAT on this fixed fee as well that is 10 dirhams. For this particular example, I'm not taking VAT on 10 dirhams. So your final total will be 13.75 that is 0.275% of 5000 and then 10 dirhams that is fixed order fee per trade and then VAT that is 0.6875. So you will be paying 24.4375 if your investment amount is 5000 dirhams. I hope guys this calculation was easy and I have explained you well. If at all you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I shall definitely respond to you. And just in case if you still do not have investor number for Dubai financial market, I will provide a iCard right at the top. Do watch that video and you can get your investor number for free in just 3 minutes. Now at the same time, let's understand the commission structure that brokers provide for Abu Dhabi Securities Exchange. Here you do not have to pay any fixed order fee per trade. It's totally zero. Yes, there is brokerage and market charges which is minimal that is 0.15% of your total value. Not total number of shares but total amount. Don't worry, I will give you a good example just now. And then we have 5% VAT on 0.15%. So let's understand this through a simple example. Say your total amount is 5000 dirhams. So your commission will be calculated like this. That is 0.15% of 5000. That is 7.5 AED. And then you will be charged 5% VAT on commission. That will be 0.375 dirhams. So now your total will be 7.50 that is 0.15% of 5000 and 5% 5 VAT that is 0.375. So your total cost on 5000 dirhams will be 7.875. Yes, you are right. ADX market is cheaper when compared to DFM in terms of brokerage and market charges. No wonder we see more liquidity in Abu Dhabi Securities Exchange. 
Now let's talk about second factor that is services a brokerage company can provide you. Well, there are different products that brokerage firms offer to their customers. Say for example, margin trading, derivative trading, equity trading, mobile trading, internet trading. There are many options to choose from. Not to forget short selling as well. Let me give you a small tip here. In case if you are interested to trade futures, then I would recommend Xcube because they do not charge anything on future trading. Next is Sharia stocks. If you are a Muslim and would like to invest in Sharia compliant stocks, then I have three brokerage firms that provide strictly Sharia compliant stocks. First is Adib Securities. Second is Emirates Islamic Financial Brokerage. Third is Sharjah Islamic Financial Services. Yes, I know there are many other brokerage firms who are providing Sharia compliant products, but these three are very strict and will only allow you to trade Sharia compliant stocks. Fourth criteria is very simple. If your broker is connected with a bank, say for example, Mashrik Securities, ADCB Securities or Adib Securities, your transactions are smooth. It's direct debit and credit from your account. It's not that if you do not have a direct bank connected broker, your transactions will not be easy. It's just you will have to go through bank transfers. And the last factor that you will have to consider before signing up with a broker, how easy is to open an account with them? In today's digital world, still there are some brokers who ask you to come at their branch to sign the documents and register. However, there are some brokers who are providing ease of opening an account with them, say like Al Rams Capital, BHM Capital, Emirates NBD Securities and International Securities. You can sign up with them through their website and through their app as well. So guys, these are the five important factors that you will have to go through before you finalize with any broker. And now let me share the best broker for DFM and ADX market. This is purely out of my research and analysis and the award goes to International Securities. I will definitely give you my reasons why I have selected International Securities. Let's go one by one. First thing first, their commission charges are very low. In fact, it's the lowest in the market. For ADX market, that is Abu Dhabi Securities Exchange, they are charging only 0.025%, whereas other brokers are charging 0.15%. So clearly, this is a winner in this factor. For someone who is buying and selling stocks in ADX market very frequently, this broker is the best. It will save you tons of money. For someone like me, who is a day trader and investor as well, trust me, at the end of the month, I save good amount of commission. Second reason why this is the best, their platform is very neat and clean. They have some advanced features. For professional traders and investors, this is a blessing. By the way, if you still do not have an investor number for Abu Dhabi Securities Exchange, I will provide a link right at the top. Watch that video, follow the instructions, you will get your investor number and then you can start investing in ADX market. Third reason why international securities is the best, no need to visit their branch to sign their documents. You can do it online from the comfort of your home. You can open account with them in just few minutes. And now talking about their services, they have state of the art customer service. Even during the market hours, if you have any questions or any doubts related to their platform, they will guide you step by step. And yes, for sure they are providing e-trading service that is online trading, mobile trading, margin trading, and they are also allowed for short selling services. I would recommend international securities for Dubai financial market as well. Their commission charges is same like other brokers in DFM, but when you average out your cost with trades that you take in ADX, you still save money. So guys, this was my take for brokerage firms in DFM and ADX market. Do share your experiences as well in the comment box. I will be really happy to read them. And yes, before I end this video, if you are interested to join my YouTube membership for my stock recommendations, entries and exits, then link is in the description. That's it guys for now. Thanks for watching. Keep stalking.